I just want to say that I'm back. Ta-da! <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Shalay, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some cute little things I found on Amazon recently. Well, some of them aren't that recent, um, some of them are probably featured in other videos, maybe, but we're going we're gonna to put them all together in this video, okay? This week, I really wanted to... This When I try to be a cute YouTuber, okay, this is what happens. Okay, I guess next time, when I remember to charge the light, then we'll have the nice cool blue background, but for now, we're just not going to have it. All right. So we're going to start with my favorite category, which is fashion. You can find so many cute accessories on Amazon. Like, I don't know if y'all know that. The best things I think they have are sunglasses. They have a lot of like early 2000s inspired sunglasses. I mean, a lot of people do now because that's like what's in right now. Um, how cool are these? So I found these randomly when I was looking for like stuff for my birthday. Um, they're gonna be part of my birthday photo shoot that I ended up not even doing But I ended up taking some really cute pictures for Killstar with these and oh my god I love them. They are amazing and I've had a couple people ask me on Instagram where I got them from These studs are actually really heavy-duty. They're actually really pokey. They do kind of hurt and they are actually kind of heavy from all the studs So and I can't wear them for a long time because they push down on my nose rings This is how they look how cute are these like they're so amazing i thought they were so unique and like something not that many people would have um which is funny because then i went on instagram after i ordered them and saw somebody else with them i look good I look my makeup. Oh. <laughs> next item are these cute pink like y2k inspired sunglasses they give me like barbie i don't know some maybe something Paris hilton might have worn back in the day but i love them i think they're just so cute i love pink this is why I need contacts. So I can be in my, I have a 2003 Volkswagen Beetle, okay? I'll be serving early 2000s vibes with these, driving in my pink Beetle with my pink leopard print steering wheel cover. Like, oh my God, fab. The next accessory are ear muffs. Amazon has a lot of cute ear muffs, okay? They're really soft. The fur is really soft, but you can't adjust the ear thing. Like a lot of ear muffs have a adjustable and they're kind of big on me, like, there's like a gap, you see that? And if I were to wear them like that, that's like, it's fine, but like, they're like on my chin, basically. <laughs> I bought them because um, I really wanted the Forever 21 baby fat air muffs that were white. I wanted to do a cute winter shoot, which I never ended up doing either. I got these as like a dupe because I wanted air muffs to the outfit. I had the outfit idea already, but then Liam ended up surprising me with the baby fat air muffs that he bought from a reseller, so. I haven't even like worn these at all. I think they're still a bit flying because they're really soft. They're still pretty cute if they fit right. Um, I just have a really small head too on top of that. <laughs> Next thing I wanted to show off was leg warmers. They're great for winter. I feel like you could probably wear them in the spring and the fall too. Maybe you can get away with wearing them in the summertime if it's not too hot. Um, especially with like a skirt would be super cute. I don't really wear orange like that. I kind of got these for a Killstar collab I did. I'll insert a picture because I think they really complemented the outfit really, really well. Um, and I don't think the outfit would have been as cute without these. I also wore them when I dressed up as Velma for Halloween. I thought it would be different than doing the like thigh high stockings or like the orange socks that everybody does as Velma. And these are pretty long. So they like give that really baggy effect, which I love. I don't get too much use out of them because I don't like wear too much orange, but I love them. They have them in multiple other colors too. I guess I can show off the shirt that I'm wearing right now, which is pretty cute. It's definitely one of my favorite shirts that I've ever bought. It has these little slits in them, which I think is so cool. I'm pretty skinny, so I feel like it fits me really, really good. Um, the material is stretchy, it's really cute. The print has not messed up from the wash or anything like that. I think it's such a cute shirt. I didn't realize till I got it that it's actually, it's by Shein. And I know people have different mixed opinions about Shein. I don't really like them too much as a company overall. I don't usually shop from them. I, I'm not gonna lie, I do love this shirt. I'm not gonna lie, it is one of my favorite shirts. I also got another shirt off of Amazon, which I think is so cute that I bought for the Hello Kitty Rave, but I ended up not even wearing it. I'm just gonna put it on over this shirt because I don't feel like taking the shirt off. I think this goes, no, this shirt does not have a brand. So I guess it's just the Amazon shirt. I don't know. 
How cute. Uh, so like, if I wore nothing under it, it would look kind of like this. I love the sleeves. I love, love, love the sleeves. And then like zips in the front, so it's pretty easy to put on. You, I would kind of just put it on like a jacket. Now I'm gonna move on to the beauty and hair portion. Let's start with the things that I'm wearing on my face, <laughs> which are these crazy huge eyelashes. I don't know if they look too big on camera. I can literally feel them like tickling right here, like on the top of my eyebrow. Like, I don't know. I kind of like them, they're a little dramatic. There's a little story behind these eyelashes, okay? I was at work scrolling through Instagram on the computer because I do the social media for my job. I came across this girl's profile and I was like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Like maybe we could work for her, I don't know. I ended up watching some videos of her doing her makeup because her makeup was gorgeous. And she had these, her, I thought her eyelashes were amazing. And I was trying to figure out where she got the eyelashes from, but she didn't end up leaving that information anywhere. So I low key kind of stalked her page a little bit to figure out if she was ever gonna like reveal these eyelashes because I saw other people in the comments asking. And um, she ended up doing a makeup tutorial where she showed off this box in the video and i was like yes <laughs> those are the eyelashes so i couldn't figure out what they were called i couldn't really make out any of the words in her video but i saw these big letters right here before i forgot i like just went on my phone and typed this into google and it came up right with the amazon link and i was like yes i found them so i got these they have different ones if you don't like them this dramatic um I was gonna return them at first, but then I just kind of cut them down a little bit. And I don't know, I kind of like them, especially for video and maybe for pictures, um, because I feel like they show up really well. If you're gonna buy these eyelashes, you're gonna need some good glue to hold them down, okay? So I got you. So this one is Super Stronghold Eyelash Adhesive Clear by Eye Envy. It's white with a gold top. And then this one is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. And I kind of like this one a little bit more, I'm not gonna lie. If you struggle with putting on eyelashes, it might not be you, okay? It might be the eyelash glue you're using. Because when I first started trying to wear eyelashes, I got the cheap like Beauty Supply Dollar Store $1 the Duo glue that a lot of people love, okay? And I get that. It works. It works, but I feel like you have to I don't know it doesn't work as well as these i promise i promise you so i was using the kiss one for a while until i ran out and then um when i got these lashes um i was like i'm gonna try this glue because it had a lot of good reviews on amazon and it was pretty cheap i don't remember exactly how much it was i think it's cheaper than this one but i do like this one a little bit more i'm not gonna lie so the duo ones they're like squeeze the squeeze kinds and you can like squeeze out too much sometimes and that literally always happens to me i always end up squeezing out too much these have a little like wand tip so you can just apply it straight to the last strip it's it's beautiful and it's easy i love it get one of these glues and this glue works really well for how cheap it is and it holds like it's pretty strong next beauty products are these lip glosses oh we love lip gloss i do have a little flaw about these that i've just started noticing this week so I bought this set of lip glosses. I came with five total. It's NK Makeup. These are some great cheap lip glosses in my opinion. They remind me of like the lip gloss you would get from like the corner store or the beauty supply store when you were a kid. They're like 99 cents. But they were pretty cheap for five lip glosses. That's why I got them. It has bubble gum, cherry, rose hip, just clear, and strawberry. But the one flaw I just started noticing this week is that it leaks, which is really annoying. There's like all this lip gloss like spewing out of it. And I literally just wiped it clean before I started filming this video. I thought the problem was that I need to like get the residue off, but no, it's like leaking out and it's twisted all the way on there. So I don't know why that's happening. It's really annoying. But if you need a good set of lip glosses, they last for a while. I'm wearing it now. <laughs> so I got this cute four pack of hair clips. I love me a good clip of my hair up when I'm lazy, okay? I think it's so cute. But I always get like the hair clips from like Rite Aid, Beauty Supply Store, little cheap plastic bulky kind of ones. They always end up breaking on me. I don't know how. I don't even, I'm not even that rough. I'm not even that strong, but they always break and all I'm doing is putting them in my hair and I just hit one of the little teeth goes and it like flies over the room <laughs> and you gotta kind of make it work Well, now it's missing the tooth and your hair is like sliding out of it. If you wear weave or like wigs and you can't like clip it all the way down to your scalp, the hair is just kind of loose in there and it always ends up falling out. Like, I don't know, is that just me? Cause I, I thought that happens to me all the time. With these, 
it happens way less. So I'm gonna open one. So they had a lot of good reviews, which was good. Um, I thought they were just really cute. It's more of a flat, like a flat shape, whereas the other ones, they're kind of like bulky. Like this is your head, that's the hair clip. It just lays flat against it. For the most part, um, I might have to fix it once a day. Those other ones I used to have to fix like three, four times a day. I'm not even kidding. I stand by these and I think the material is not like really slippery either. So the hair kind of just like stays. I have one in right now. I have a black one in and I don't know. I think it's cute. I love it. I've been wearing it like all week because I really haven't been like styling this hair. So this is for my Hello Kitty girls. Okay. This is a pack of Hello Kitty band-aids. I know it's really random, but like who doesn't want Hello Kitty band-aids? They're so freaking cute. Um, when I was younger and when I was like in middle school, I would go to Target with my mom and stuff and I would always like get her to pick up a pair like a pack of Hello Kitty band-aids for me just to have them and I would literally like decorate like my notebooks from school with them I remember I had one on my phone on the back of my phone when I was like 12. I'm a firm believer in that like everything should be cute so when you get scraped and scratched they can be cute too how cute is this it's a cute little rhinestone Hello Kitty I seen it around the time I was looking for stuff for the Hello Kitty rave um, and I ordered it, but it wasn't gonna come until after the rave, which is fine. I wear it like every day now, it's so freaking cute. It reminds me of younger me, cause I used to have so many like Hello Kitty necklaces and like I had Hello Kitty rings. And I don't know, I kind of lost them all as I got older, which kind of sucks. But it's like, I'm wearing it for 13 year old me, okay? Cause 13 year old me never left the house without a piece of Hello Kitty on her, she never did. So I just feel like I'm doing that again. The next two items are gonna be content creator things. So this is a phone tripod. Here, I have my phone, I'm gonna demonstrate. It can be a selfie stick too. Comes with a remote clicker that connects your phone by Bluetooth. So you would just, upside down. You would just put your phone here. Or you can rotate it, boom. And it gets to like, um, it's taller than me, I'm five foot two. I don't know exactly how tall it gets, but the measurements are on the Amazon listings. It turns into a tripod, so the bottom feet kind of spread out like that, and then you can just sit it anywhere. It really comes in clutch when I need to shoot content for Killstar. It really helps filming TikToks. And then it just folds up really small, and boom. And it's easy to carry around. You could like fit this into a bag, you know? That's getting one if, if you are a content creator. The next content creator tool is a wand light now it's the light that i was struggling with at the beginning of this video i'm not gonna lie but i love it okay it's just dead because i haven't charged it since i got it it's really bright it's chargeable which is amazing because i don't know if you've ever struggled taking content out if you ever like trying to shoot pictures outside or something and the light just don't look right like you're trying to use natural light but it don't look good like it has a bunch of different color settings i think it came with a remote which i don't really need to use so there's two different options. You can buy it with the stand, you can buy it without the light stand. I bought it without the light stand because I already have two of them. So I didn't want to have like another one. But yeah, if you're a content creator, I definitely think it's a great purchase. I don't think it was that much money, but it was a Christmas gift. I asked my mom to get it for me. So this is what it looks like. So yeah, it's pretty skinny, it's pretty small. Really lightweight, like I said, it comes with a case. So you can just put it in the case, you can carry it around with you. Look how bright it gets, like that's crazy. It like hurts my eyeballs. It's so bright. That is my entire video. What's this? Eyelashes. That's everything from my Amazon um, haul. All the links for everything will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like some more videos from me, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Stay cool, stay groovy dudes.